Residents in the Homestead Street community are still reeling from that fire that killed an entire family last week. Residents say they remain confused about what really happened and it's something police are still trying to figure out. Arjun Anibal Ferguson returned to the scene and has both sides. We return to Homestead Street, where last week a family of six died in a fire at this house. But when we returned today, we met signs on the wall like this one. This family has been murdered. The police are covering up the murder count. Well, the talk was that the people in the house was bolted down in the house, and there was a guy who was witness to a murder was supposed to be the suspect who got burned out. She should have been burned in the fire, but the talk said that the people burned the wrong house. The guy said probably want to shut them up, so they, they probably burned the wrong house. Those people in that house perished for nothing. Community members who claim that they were close to the family talk with our news team off camera expressing their concern about what may or may not have happened to that family. Many of them believe that a crime has happened, while others said it may have reportedly been an electrical problem. I can't say whether this was an accident or hot, whatever it was, right? But the situation with the people I'm running job court and all that, they need to clarify that. And all the different station and every everybody need to clarify that. These people at Light in their house was running from the front house straight to the back. They landed on, made sure they had light, they had cable, they had everything in their house. Mm -hmm. But the situation with the job card, all that is false information. If someone knew know what is going on, cheap you come to a family member or you ask the right question and stop spreading rumors. The sign says this house, this window did not have a bar. This was an escape window. That's all I see. I don't know. I'm once a person installed a burglar or burglar bars within their domestic home or their homes, we are asking them to ensure that at least one window is, is, is used as a fire escape. Now rumors also circulated among community members about one of the victims being known to police. Officer in charge of the police fire division, Superintendent Walter Evans, said that they must first verify who was actually in that house. Um, once we have confirmed identities of those individuals, and then we would be in a position to see whether Tom Brown or, or John Doe has had a relationship with the police or is known to the police, and then we would be in a position to, to say that. The police fire chief acknowledged that while the rumor mill might be churning about what happened on Homestead Street one week ago, authorities are more concerned with the facts. Wait until such time as the process has been completed and then you can get the facts to know exactly what took place. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.